as she mentioned, I am the uh, Director of Insights and Analytics at Brandt, but after hearing the hackathon winners, I think I might need to do a career reconsideration. That was pretty impressive, guys. That was awesome. Um, but I'm also a proud member of the Board of Directors for the Brandt Foundation, uh, which is our company's philanthropic uh, arm. Uh, today I have the privilege of presenting the Glenn GB Prize for Ag Entrepreneurialism, which is an award that deeply resonates with the legacy of Glenn Brandt, our company's founder. Starting in 1953 in the small town of Pleasant Plains, Illinois, Glenn saw the transformative potential of applying anhydrous ammonia to corn, and he was aiming for 100 bushels per acre, uh, which was pretty bold and ambitious at the time. But building on that foundation, Brandt has grown exponentially. Today we are still privately owned by the Brandt family. We operate 18 ag retail locations in central Illinois that service over 1 million acres. And we're also a leading manufacturer of specialty fertilizers with distribution across the country and across the globe. This expansion and our position in the market today are a direct result of the innovative and entrepreneurial culture ingrained within our company that are characteristics that can be directly traced back to Glen Brandt. Four years ago, Shortly after Glenn's passing, we partnered with the University of Illinois Foundation and the Ag Tech Summit for this award, which is the perfect place because if you look around the room, it's full of innovators, entrepreneurs, and forward thinkers. So this year, we are proud to present this award to Andrew and Carly Bowman of Pilot Knob Farms. Similar to GB, Andrew and Carly have exemplified the entrepreneurial spirit and dedication to advancing agricultural innovation. They grow popcorn but it's not just any popcorn. It's uh, colored red and blue, which I think is pretty cool. They also have uh, strategic rotation and tilling practices and engage in meaningful partnerships with the University of Illinois. So all of this is uh, a showcase of their profound commitment to improving agricultural products, practices, and education. So through their efforts, Andrew and Carly are not just advancing their own venture, but are also contributing to the broader agricultural community, which is exactly what Glenn Brandt did throughout his life. So please join me in uh, congratulating Andrew and Carly on their well-deserved recognition for this award. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I was uh, confirmed Methodist, but I can talk like a Baptist, so I was told I only have five minutes, so uh, for those of you that didn't grow up in the Bible Belt, I'm sorry that joke went way over your head. It truly is a real honor to be here, and it was humbling to come back now, 20-ish years later. You know, I, I feel like at 37, I'm young compared to most farmers, but I don't feel it anymore, but I have so many fond, wonderful memories with my wife and I here at the University of Illinois. Pilot Knob Comforts, our farm and brand, was really bore out of going back to the family farm and realizing that something needed to change. You know, entrepreneurship, the innovation, the excitement in this room, our journey is kind of a microcosm of all the wonderful things that we're discussing today. And it was really, for us, it was born out of uh, fighting back against $600 an acre land rent. Uh, if you know, you know what that means. But uh, we have a 10 and a six-year-old son, and they're not here, so I can use them as, a, as an example. And they like to think about where they're gonna be someday. You know, are they gonna be farmers? One wants to be a policeman, one wants to be an NFL football player. Odds are kinda of low on that one, but still, we're gonna encourage him to pursue his dreams. But those boys and their friends, when we interact with them, have never said that when they grow up, they wanna be average. And that's kinda of where entrepreneurship, I think, really drives progress going forward. Think of it like a bell curve, no one wants to be in the middle, you want to be on one end or the other extreme, making your margins. That's why we started growing red and blue popcorn. We've done it for over 100 years as a hobby, as something just fun and interesting. But how do we turn that into something where we can give back to our faith and our family and our farm and the next generation? And one day, maybe we will be the ones writing the check for the next entrepreneurs and be worthy of this award. So uh, I did want to share one more fun thing, just an idea, because I think that's what's so neat. One of the neat things about this summit today are the ideas. And just show of hands, a little participation. Has anybody ever had deep fried popcorn? Anybody? 
Very few people raise their hands. Well, spoiler alert, it's the best popcorn you can ever have, especially if it's red and blue. So <laughs> the popcorn we grow is, uh, has a very thin seed coat. It's thin hole. We market it as no toothpicks required. And uh, I was actually working on kind of something, a, a idea we hope to patent to go to the next generation for our family farm. And that's actually where the investment is going to go is uh, how can we approach places like Culver's and McDonald's and have something healthier than french fries, but still with the good old deep frying idea. So that's one thing we're working on. Just want to say thank you very much. And I love how you brought up starting with anhydrous ammonia in the 1950s, because I really identify with that. I mean, what we are doing on our farm is just trying to be different, trying not to be average. And it's amazing if you multiply that commitment towards excellence over 60, 70 odd years, you can be truly a game changer. In Thank you very much. And the last thing I'll point out is I want to thank Kim Meenan in the University of Illinois. She has been a mentor for many years. I'd like to thank Crop Sciences and Ag Communications. Those are the majors that we had many moons ago. This has been a wonderful opportunity, and I, I hope that uh, we can be, be deserving of this award and give back in our time. So thank you.